Gemini Live just released this past week for a select group of Android and Pixel phones. This is incredible. This is conversational AI, Gemini Live. In this video, we're going to show you how to set it up, where to get it. I'm going to get Gemini Live to help me troubleshoot some ideas for a video I want to make. We're going to send it over to Canva or PowerPoint and make a YouTube video. So stay tuned and let me show you how it's done. <laughs> so I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. We help seniors understand technology and explain this rocky, wild, changing field of AI. You know, when I was a young lad, I remember Space Odyssey and HAL 9000 and how we interact and talk to the computer. Well, now with Gemini Live, it's all possible right on my smartphone. That's so cool. You got to see this. It's a game changer. So let's have a look at Gemini Live. What is Gemini? Well, you've probably heard about Copilot, Bard, all sorts of things in the past um, few months about AI. Well, simply Gemini is Google's AI. Now, Gemini Live is only available on the mobile device. So today we're going to focus only on mobile devices using Gemini Live. But of course, Gemini is available on all devices, including your mobile and PC. Gemini Live, unfortunately, is not available for the iPhone. So let's start out on where you might find or download or how you're going to get uh, Gemini Live. Well, at first you have to start with Gemini. Now, Gemini is on the mobile device, a replacement for Google Assistant. So let's talk about where you're going to get Gemini Live from. But first we have to look at where you're going to get Gemini from. So we're going to talk only about mobile devices. So if you have a Pixel phone, then Google Assistant will be on your phone automatically. Now, Gemini will be replacing this, and that should have happened automatically. The first thing you need to do is make sure that the Google Assistant has been replaced by Gemini. Now, if you go to the Play Store and you typed in and searched for Gemini Live, you wouldn't find it. There is nothing, nothing there that says Gemini Live. The only thing you'll see is the Gemini app. And as I said, if you have uh, Samsung S24, just make sure you download that and install it. If you have a Pixel phone, it's likely already done for you. And when you um, access either the Gemini app or the uh, Google Assistant on a Pixel phone, then you will be able to see Gemini. Now, Gemini on your mobile device, since it's going to be used as your personal assistant, is integrated into your calendar, your email. All features on your phone will be able to be accessed for Gemini because, of course, it's going to be there to help you. So let's just go over this one more time. There's a big difference between Gemini and Gemini Live. And I want to just go over that to make sure it's crystal clear. Gemini is a Google's AI. It works as a Google Assistant on your phone. It is available on all Android and even iPhones. So it is universally present and it runs as an app on your phone, not needing to be connected to the cloud. So when we talk about Gemini Live, it's different. Gemini Live is conversational AI. This is restricted to only Android phones. There's a select group of Pixel and Samsung phones that allow this to be present. It only works if it's connected to the cloud. So the other interesting thing about Gemini AI is it has no personal access to your information on your phone. So you can't ask it to send an email or book appointment or anything you can do that Gemini will do because it has no information and does not have access to your personal information on the phone. So how do you get Gemini Live? Well, it's sort of magic. Uh, this is my um, Pixel 8 Pro that I'm doing the demonstration on. 
and you'll see this is the um, my home screen and at the bottom you'll see I've opened Gemini and there's a little circle to the right side and when you click that that will start Gemini live up if you don't see that circle there you don't have Gemini live so just review that again there is no Gemini live app don't go to the Play Store don't look for the Gemini live app because there is none it works through the Gemini app when it's enabled. So you say, how am I going to get this enabled? Well, it is a paid for service. Now, there are many different ways that you might have this enabled. Now, you may it may be enabled on uh, a new phone that you bought and you may have a free service for a couple of months. Uh, it may be related to a Google One subscription, such as I have, and this is uh, available uh, through your Google account, and this would allow you to have access to this. And it also gives you your Google, it also gives you your, your Gemini Advanced feature. So it's like the Advanced Chat GPT. Uh, and it's, uh, I think they're all, all the different services all want about $20 a month. And this is uh, indeed, um, what Google is doing. So unless you have one of the services which you have a paid or a free trial or something, you won't see that circle there. Now in my case, I'm not sure because I bought a new Pixel uh, 8 Pro, whether it was there because of that or, but I also have it enabled through my Google One subscription. So let's see how it works. All right, let's see how this works. I'm going to start with a command and we'll see what happens here. As you'll see uh, on my phone, it brings up uh, the Google Assistant, which is now Gemini. So now we're going to tap this here to this little button that I told you before to, to bring up Gemini Live. Uh, okay, sounds good. Is there anything else on your mind? Yes, I make uh, videos for Tech for Senior, and I'm interested in some topics that about technology that we could discuss with seniors. I'm thinking of making a video. That's a fantastic idea. Tech for seniors is a great niche, and there's always something new to learn. Here are a few ideas. First, smartphones are a minefield of confusion for older folks. Maybe a video on the basics like making calls, texting, simple apps, or even taking decent pictures would be helpful. Also, cybersecurity is a never-ending concern. Let, let's a go video back, on let's how to go back and talk about Let's go back and talk about smartphones. What, what topics about smartphones could I make a video about? There's a lot you could cover with smartphone basics. Here's a few ideas. Let's start broad a video on the most important apps for seniors. Think things like making calls, texting, a simple camera app, maybe even something like a weather app. You could also focus on one particular app in detail, like how to use WhatsApp to chat with family and friends, or how to video call on something like FaceTime. Last up, you could do a troubleshooting video. Cover things like how to turn a phone on and off, how to find the charger, or what to do if the battery dies. So would you rather do a general overview of helpful apps, focus on one app in particular, or put together a little troubleshooting guide? Let's talk about WhatsApp and staying connected with your family. I've done a bunch of videos about that before. What about a video on using WhatsApp to make free video calls to family and friends? That's you a great idea. A follow up video on using other... Let, let's... Great. I think a video like that would be really useful for seniors. Let's, it could help them feel more connected to their loved ones, especially if they're far away. Do you want a few tips for making the video easy to follow? Yes, I want you to tell me three tips that I could use in my video. All right, here are three tips to make your WhatsApp video call tutorial easy to follow. First, use simple language and avoid technical jargon. Seniors might not know what a profile picture is, so just call it an avatar instead. Second, use lots of visuals. Instead of just talking about how to find the video call button, actually show them where it is on their screen. Last, keep things moving. You don't want your video to be too long or they'll lose interest. Focus on the most important steps and try to keep the whole video around five to seven minutes. Could you create an outline for me? Absolutely. Here's a simple outline to get you started. First, you'll want a quick intro. Welcome your viewers and let them know what the video is about. Making video calls on WhatsApp. Then. Jump into the tutorial part. Start with opening WhatsApp and finding the chats tab. Next, show them how to start a new chat or find an existing one. After that, show them the video call button and how to tap it. Now it's time to wrap things up. 
do a quick recap of the steps, wish them luck, and maybe even ask them to subscribe to your channel for more helpful videos. So all the information saved in Gemini Live is saved in a text file, and you can actually save it, you can uh, email it, you can export it, lots of things you can do with it, but it, all that discussion we had about my idea for a video is certainly saved. Now what I've done is I've taken some of those key ideas now and I've come over to Canva and I've added it into Magic Design. And this has created a quick video. It doesn't get any easier. This took me a few seconds to do this and it's now created a presentation for me. So let's have a look here. You see the title says Staying Connected. Uh, then the, and then we go on here and you'll see the different slides as we go through and, and all the things that we discussed with um, with Gemini and you'll see all the slides it's made for me uh, as we go through here. It doesn't get any easier than that. So it's very easy to take the data, export it, and put it into Canva or PowerPoint and create these great presentations. It's, it's so easy to do. Uh, it makes it a snap. All right, let's summarize this presentation into five key points. The first is Gemini Live is only available on the mobile device. The second issue is Gemini Live is only available on select Pixel and Samsung phones. You'll have to check if your model has this. The third thing is that Gemini is different than Gemini Live. Gemini Live is cloud-based and does not contain your personal information. Gemini, of course, is the new replacement for the Google Assistant. The fourth thing is, is there is no app for Gemini Live. So don't go looking at the Play Store trying to find it. It is part of Gemini. And if you have subscribed or paid for or you've activate Gemini Live, then that little dot right beside the, um, the, the, the search bar in Gemini will show you where to click for Gemini Live. And the last point is that, of course, it isn't free. Uh, you may uh, have this as a trial uh, version for a couple of months or as part of your uh, Google One account, but there is a cost and it, it looks like it's going to be around $20 dollars a month. This will be slowly rolling out over the next few months and I think you should give it a try. It's a blast. So I'm Ron Brown and this has been Tech for Senior. I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as had as much fun as I did making it. The one thing I can assure you if you like and subscribe for sure we will make sure that you see the next videos we have coming out about technology. Until then have a great day. Bye now. Thank you.